Hi everyone, I'm just jumping on to show you one of my favourite artworks. So it is a robots inspired aluminium artwork. So my teaching partner is incredibly creative and what she's done, she's taken a few ideas and popped them together to create this individual artwork. So I'm going to step you through the different ways to go about this this afternoon. Okay, so first thing is they get an A4 piece of play paper and they plan out their robot. So they'll draft, they, you may want to print off things like the chains or the cogs for them to be able to trace or they can just freehand draw their robots as well. So they plan out their robot. Once they are happy with their robot, they can do a good copy of their robot and they just take the piece of paper and they blue tack it down to a piece of aluminium foil. So you can see here, this is an incomplete one, but we've taken the robot, we've blue tacked it down so it won't move. Now, once you have that done, you take a blunt pencil and you engrave slowly over your robot. So you can see it's starting to come through onto the other side. Obviously, this is incomplete. So they would go back over. Um, they could add in little details and things like that. Once they have finished engraving, they will then take black poster paint and paint over their aluminium foil, ensuring that they get into the grooves of their engraving. Once they've added the black paint, they will wipe away the excess black paint. So we just used a tissue for that. So once they've wiped away some of the black to give it a bit of an aged effect, then we have gone over and added in some details with metallic acrylic paint. So you can buy that from anywhere. So they've added in some extra little gold metallic sections to their robot. We've also used some little extra nuts and bolts that we had just lying around that we've super glued those down or hot glue gunned those down onto their robot as well. So that is super effective. Then we've just backed it onto black card and they're ready to display. They're just drying this afternoon and we will add them to our display as well. So it's a really fun art activity especially for the older grades because it does incorporate using a few different skills like painting engraving um, as well as it really a thought out process 